So today's video, I've got a special one just for the haters. This creates a triangle. I like triangles. While I'm back in the United States from Dubai in the United Arab Emirates on my trip to go check out W Motors, the Lycan, and the Fenrir cars. And it was a fantastic journey. Just wanted to make a note that I actually paid my own way to go because frankly, I didn't want anybody to be able to say I was influenced one way or another. I wanted to keep it real over in the Middle East just as much as I keep it real here in the United States in my own shop. So I've got a video series starting on Monday. First one's gonna be a big one. A walk around of all of W Motors, everything that's going on with Ralph DeBoz, the CEO of W Motors. Then we're gonna rip the Lycan and the Fenrir in a two-part series up and down an amazing, beautiful mountain and through the clouds and potentially a little quicker than I should have been going given I'm that far away from home and in that expensive of a car. But we did anyway. <laughs> And then lastly, we're going to finish it up actually on the track with the Fenrir and uh, getting at it pretty hard. Now, the thing of this is, these videos coming up are going to be real, intelligent, awesome. And I realize that there's a whole myriad of people watching this video and these series. So today's video, I've got a special one just for the haters, because I don't want to leave you guys out from my intelligent video series coming up. But I do want to say one thing relating to Dubai and travel as an American. Obviously, I grew up in the Midwest, not the Middle East. And the United States, like every country, we grow up in our own culture and see our things based upon our media and outlook. And because of where the United States is in the world, we're surrounded by oceans and then Canada and Mexico. So our ability to travel largely stays within our own unless we go really, really far away. But something that I took away from the experience is new perspective. Um, you know, it was an opportunity to look back upon my own life and country and what we see and think and feel, and then experience and meet new people. Ones that um, the perspective I had, I found out may not be reality. Uh, and it was so exciting to be able to travel, see other cultures, regardless of that, and I really enjoyed that. Now, last little thing, before we get into the video I actually made for the haters today, I do wanna read this quote because uh, it struck me really hard. And that's from Mark Twain or Samuel Clemens. And he said that, travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. And many of our people need it sorely on these accounts. Broad, wholesome, charitable views of men and things cannot be acquired by vegetating in one little corner of the earth all one's lifetime. I you know, who, uh, you cannot say it better than that. It really opened my eyes. And we'll, I'm going to talk about this after the video series. But today's video I've made specifically for those people vegetating in one little corner because I think it's fun to pick on. So for all of you people that, I don't know, think the moon landing is fake, uh, the earth is flat, um, you graduate your dynamometer in hearse purrs, and uh, generally just want to hate and probably yell obscenities playing an uh, RPG type game in your mother's basement, today's video is for you. Hello everyone, and welcome to an episode of Supercar Blunt, nope, that's not right. I am Average Car Baldy, yes! So today we're going to review this blue car. I have just seen it and read the Wikipedia article. These are wheels. They're made of metal, which is strong. It's got four. Four wheels. It's the best way to put the power down. And would you believe the glass is fully transparent. You can see it when you drive. Isn't that awesome? This creates a triangle. I like triangles. Yes! And W. W's are cool. They stand for like words like water and wacky. And I like that because I am average car baldy. Yes, it's blue. I like blue. I was a little kid in the eighties and Smurfs were blue. What else is blue? The sky in Dubai and I think the sky is pretty. Would you believe? Look how low to the ground it is and sharp and it cuts the air. Oh, and look at this. I can't open the, I can't just grab the door handle. If you push it here, it comes out. And then did you know this car has locks. That's clever, isn't it? That way, somebody like me can't just open it and steal those beautiful helmets, which are made of carbon fiber. And carbon fiber is pretty. And I hear it's a very strong and expensive material. And that's special. And this is exciting too, because 
it's pointy and shiny and it has these beautiful lights here which are clear but when the lights light up they're orange it's clear but it's orange so the orange does not clash with the blue when I dress up. I don't want my colors to clash. The license plate here is very horizontal and skinny and it fits perfectly. It's got these fins and allegedly helps the car suck to the ground, which makes it turn better. Amazing. So that's the first episode of Average Car Baldy. Guys, hope you subscribe. Okay. Also, warm and positive regards to the actual supercar Blondie. I enjoy her video and she showcases cars that we never get to see otherwise. So imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So I hope you enjoyed this and maybe next time I'm in Dubai, I'll get to meet her. But for everybody that enjoyed this, I hope you did in good spirit. Please hit that bell and subscribe. See you guys next time. Since 2013, the Genius Garage educational programs have been responsible for launching the careers of young engineers, mechanics, and fabricators. So this holiday season, consider checking out Genius Garage and its website, geniusgarageracing.com, and making a donation. Whether it's small or large, what we do together is how we shape a better future for everyone. Thanks for watching.